Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel. Today we have a very exciting topic, how to use activated route in Angular. Whether you are a beginner or an expert, I am sure you will find something valuable in this tutorial. So let's jump right in. Activated route is a service in Angular that provides information about a route associated with the component loaded into an Angular application. It's incredibly useful when you want to handle things like parameters, query parameters or fragments. So let's begin by setting up a new Angular project or you can follow along using your existing project. To create a new project, you will just open your terminal in your computer, type this command engine new and your app name that will generate a new project with that name and then go to that project with the name and after you are in your project you can run your project by using the command ng serve i already have created my angular project and i have opened it in my editor i'm using vs code so i also have started my server locally in my browser so I will just use this one. So imagine we have an e-commerce application and we want to navigate to different product details page. We will use activated route to extract the product ID from the URL and fetch the relevant product information. So for that, we have to add a route in our routes file in Angular project. So right now I don't have any routes file. So I will generate a routing module here. So let's do that and you generate M app routing and flat press enter. Okay, the routing module has been generated. Now I will import the router module for root because this will contain the routes of the root so we will use the for root function and here i will pass the routes that i will create shortly now let's define these routes and this will be just an array and now here i will add let me add the path the type route okay now you will add the path product slash id and component would be the product detail component okay so we have to generate this product detail component i will just quickly tell you about this so this is how you will define the parameter in your route so this is actually a placeholder for the product id so whatever name you will mention here, you will be able to access the ID with the same name in the component. So now let's generate this product detail component, copy the name type ng generate C for component press enter. And now import this missing component here. Uh, I did a mistake here. I should not have mentioned the component at then because it automatically uh, suffix the component word uh, to this. So let me delete it and generate it again. I will just remove it and remove the component. It will add the word component by itself. So now it has been generated. And in the app module, I will fix the old component name and keep the new one. All right, now here I will import it again, product detail component. Now go to this uh, newly created component. But before that, as we just added the routing, so we must have to add the router outlet here so that we could uh, go into that. Uh, so this is my app uh, routing module i must have to import it in the imports uh, provide in the modules area of the app module so this is the imports array where we will add it all right 
now here you can use the you can add the router outlet but it is still not giving you suggestion the reason is that here we have imported uh, this module but we did not export it yet so we have to export it as well router module uh, all right now here if you type you will get the suggestion that's when it is available to use now on the top i will add some links so my first link would be a href uh, instead of href i will use router link and in that i will add the path of my route you know that the path is product slash id so let's do the same thing i instead of colon id i will add the actual id here and then pass the content of anchor tag that is okay now let's open it in the browser and see this is the page and if i click on that you can see that the id is visible in the url and the content of the page is also working so now open your product detail page and in the typescript component we will inject our activated route uh, that is a service so to inject it just in your constructor type private route activated route all right once that is done we have to fetch the product id from the parameters so in the ng on init lifecycle hook i will add this dot route dot param map and then use subscribe function in the subscribe function i will pass my callback function and this callback function would be receiving a, a parameter i will name it params now you can save the product id in uh, product id is equal to params dot get id uh, okay now i can alert this id just to show you that i have access to this you can see that the id is visible when you open this page it is being alerted so you can add multiple links here with different ids just to differentiate so three four three two four okay now you can see that we have multiple products here let me add some separators here okay now if you click on the product four you will see that i am getting the id four now i am getting the id three so this is now working so once you have access to the product id you can simply uh, below here you can simply fetch the product details using the product id so you can uh, write your implementation here it's up to you so or you can also access this id in the html in case if you need it so for example product id mm -hmm. so instead of defining this variable you can save it this start product id and add any now in the html i will display the product id here this is product id product id okay now you can see that product id is visible if you click on any other route uh, or link it will update the id here next we will handle the query parameters so for that uh, you have to go to your typescript component and here i will subscribe to query params map for that type this dot route dot query param map dot subscribe 
so this also works in almost same way like we used for the param map so now get the category that will be coming from the url in the query string parameter i will show you shortly save that value from params.get oops i made a mistake here I pass a callback function and receive params and now let category is equal to params.get category so it can be anything in the url but i'm just showing you this just as an example so alert this category and now if i receive something from url uh, in the query string variable format like category then if you enter it you will get that id uh, or category okay so instead of alerting it i will save it in this dot category and let's define it as well okay and it should be optional because at first there should be nothing in this uh, all right now in the html i will add another heading this is product category okay now i will get the category in this way so as soon as we get the category it would be visible in the heading so if i change something else you will see that as well here now i will add the links in the app dot component with the query string variable so let's do that so i will add router link product slash four and then add the category one and i will copy paste it just to have multiple categories okay now category two and three now let's try it you can see we have more links here now if i click on category three uh something is wrong So this is not the uh, right way to pass the query string in angular uh, actually it uh, encode the uh, text that is coming in the url so i will just remove it and instead of that i will use another directive and the name of that directive is query params and here i will i, I can pass multiple parameters for example category one and i will copy paste it multiple time for all of these links two three now let's try it so you can see that now it is working perfectly fine without any problem okay and that's how you use activated route in angular to manage parameters query string parameters so we have built an online profile viewer that if you have any questions please drop a comment below like this video if you found it helpful and don't forget to subscribe for more exciting tutorials happy coding and see you next time